So welcome to this week's big review and it's Balkan Ethnic Orchestra by Strezov Sampling. I debated for a while on whether to include this library as uh, this week's big review as the excellent Chris Harris over at Sample Spotlight has covered it recently. However, after playing with the library for a few days, I wanted to enthuse about it as it's a really nice collection and deserves its own slot on the show. It's an almost 30 gigabyte library of Balkan instruments, gypsy sounds, vocals and soundscapes for contact. It runs in the contact player 5.7.1 and above, so let's take a listen. The library is split into five distinct sections. You've got band, which is all solo instruments from a gypsy band. There's choir with R, A and a Scylla builder. You've got ethnic solo instruments, various pads playable on all keys and a percussion patch, which is based on the engine from two pans. So let's start with that percussion, which is one of the most basic patches in the library. But like all of the instruments in this collection, you've got two microphone perspectives and you can adjust the close and hall positions. Each set of percussion instruments here has a zone and you can adjust the pitch and the transients. It's also possible to completely reorder the percussion on the keyboard keys if that's what you want to do. I was a bit surprised to hear whistling and shouts included in the percussion, but I guess why not? However, all of the percussion across the board is very well recorded. With the ethnic instrument category, there's a lot to get into. Some of these instruments are legato, some have drones or rhythms in the left hand and playable legato on the right. It's a real mixture, so you do have to learn how to play each one, and some of them are quite different from one another. For such a wide range of instruments, that's really the only way to do it in the sampling world, but thankfully the detailed manual has lots of information on this, so uh, do keep that manual handy when you're experimenting with the instruments. The highlights for me here include the Gypsy Romantic Violin, the Duducks and the Cavals, not something I'd heard sampled in too much detail before. Next up the Pads Patch, which is a lovely mix of over 30 pre-rendered soundscapes and you can play these across the whole keyboard. Now the only thing I'd like to have seen here is the constituent parts split out into stems, a bit like they do in the various patches of uh, Project Sam's Lumina library. Then you could have mixed and matched these which would have been fantastic, but the sounds here you've got already, they're great, they're nice long pads and they're really atmospheric. 
Next up, the choirs. These sound nice and detailed as it's just four singers that have been recorded. For my taste, the performances here have way too much baked in vibrato in the high dynamics, but the soft and low dynamics do sound lovely. That's just my personal preference and probably authentic to the region singers, but it's uh, not quite to my taste. The Silla Builder syllables, they do sound very clean and clear, and they're a great complement to Strezov Sampling's other choir libraries. And the way that you build up these syllables within the instrument using the matrix, that functions in exactly the same way. Lastly, you've got the band instruments. These are intentionally rough and ready. It's a collection of instruments that work well together, mostly in a kind of gypsy Balkan style. Although I didn't find some of them that realistic sounding, especially the trombone sustains in the high dynamic range. Now these are notoriously difficult to get right in the sampling world, so I'll forgive uh, George Strezel for not quite being able to pull that off, but a lot of the other instruments are solid. So in conclusion, this is a library with quite a specific use, but it's been very well thought out and very well done. Most of these instruments you won't already have featured in your collection, and some of these, uh, they're the first time that I've heard these instruments sampled, so that's a big plus for this library. Grouping together all of the gypsy band instruments is a genius idea and on the rare occasion when I would need such an ensemble to play together, this would be the first point of call for me. Some of the other patches are more standalone in nature and function very nicely, although as I said before you will need to reference the manual for some of them to be sure that you're not missing out on any of the articulations. Overall I would have appreciated a few more pre-recorded phrases as some of the competitors standalone libraries have 10 times as many but then you'd have to buy loads of those individual libraries to make up anything like the number of instruments within Balkan Ethnic Orchestra. So overall, it's a big thumbs up from me for this varied and unusual collection. Do head over to the Strezel Sampling website for more details. Thank you so much for watching. That's just a small taste of the Samplecast, a weekly podcast and YouTube show for sample library geeks and plug-in enthusiasts. You can find out more information at thesamplecast.com. Don't forget to subscribe.